part one of the video hey guys welcome to the homemade septic cable list train field or lynch field with the 55 gallon barrel for the year of 2022 so let's get into it and let's get very dirty So please guys, before you subscribing or unsubscribing, this channel is an automotive channel. I usually put a post um, automotive repair video on this channel, but I decided to do something different because I tried to do it in Spanish and I couldn't get the idea how to speak about this stuff. So this is the tool I'm, I am using, speaking by experience right here. This is the uh, four inch and one quarter to make the big hole to use to use this with your all you are uh, job what you're doing and uh, if you use this over here use the call this one do not use this one because I was using it with this one it was okay but it was um, uh, unsafe to use it so I start using this one it was a lot faster it was a lot strong but and then what two shot it popped it broke over here so now it can use this i had to reorder this one it's not uh any kind of tree build it's a special tree which is for this one so this is out of the way don't use this one if you use the uh the power one but i'm using the coldest right now so this is the best option right here this is from harbor freight it is very easy to use and um so i'm using all the uh, cordless ones so this is out of the way if this is the only option you got then uh you can use this one but i don't know if you can use this one uh on this one so this is what i'm working on right here i'll be honest with you this is my first one i ever done so i did have some hard time doing this one but through process this one i learned a lot so i'm going to do the next one right here so since i learned a lot from the first one so uh on this one i'm going to show you the way the easy way to do it it's from there and all the way i'm still digging here i'm doing it manually with a shovel so what you really need to start out with this you need two and a half barrel cut off into five like this one right now there is four pieces and there is more over there so uh, five pieces of them need to be perfect in order this one to go inside because i was going to put all the way out there but uh, i decided to i just going to do one with the first over here somewhere from here to there out there and the rest i'm just going to fasten them like i did these guys over here i only need a uh, far more barrel over there that means 10 pieces it's from there these guys where did you go in i got the same barrel cut off uh, or whole different way because um the uh, slope on this little bit uh too much not too much but uh, the water ends up a lot over there in less right here. So the way I did it, I uh, cut this big hole over there and the small one right here. That way if the water fills up here and then comes out here or here, continues to the another barrel. And the side of the barrels, I made uh, six holes as you can see right there. You can make holes, mini holes, mean as you can, you want to. That way the water will, will uh, get out 100%. I mean, if the bottom is open, uh, it should work perfectly. But uh, for my own thought, I'd rather do those holes to be 100% sure. So over here, this is my distributor right here. Right there, it's still empty. And this is the Sally pipe. To that one and that one that's the one's got hole in it and goes inside there's only 10 foot from here and out there that's it and the rest 
nothing inside solid pipe here as well all the way down there and out that way to the uh, big hole so the hole right here it is uh i should say um 16 and 7 inches deep it's because the uh, bear over here they already uh 12 and a half inch uh height so that means they're gonna be only four inches on the ground and uh, that way it will evaporate the uh, water as well the width of this or the wide it is uh 25 inches or you can go 25 30 inches it don't matter but uh that's how i got my so to cut the top one over here not the bottom one because it's different uh since i'm using the uh four inch and one quarter so from the outside right here not the last the first uh, group the second one the top one from the outside of it three inch and a half is right here hope you can see that that right there right there so that's where the uh, trail is going to go in it's like this the middle drill and now i can slowly press it down and then uh, like that and then pull it back up a little bit and then start spinning until don't put any pressure to it but if you put pressure to it you go, you go and jolt your hand and it's going to uh, damage you really bad but just don't put any pressure let it do the th its thing Just like that and do the other one like that the same way there is no need for me to show you how to do it you don't see it same thing over here that, that i forgot to say something if you short like me don't forget to get a, a step stool like that one that way you can balance yourself on top of the barrel that's the only safest way i can see i can think of for me i can put my leg up here and i balance myself and then do it After you making the first two holes on the top, now you can get it and get the rest of the uh, chemical inside. Find you a can like that or something to put the uh, hazardous inside. Just like that. In my case, it's only a soap, so it's, I can just wash it off and be good. But some of sometimes it will come like a oil or any hassle stuff in there you need to do this like stuff like this but in this barrel it is clean on the soap and sometimes on the other barrel like those over there it's got candy or molasses in there so it's food so it's not a big deal so if it's hazardous let it sit there 30 minutes, one hour, and let everything train out. And then continue uh, drilling the hole, cutting it, whatever. All right, let's continue. Uh, in my case, I got a uh, 120 foot, uh, the lynch field I'm doing. So I got 21 of this divided by two, that is uh, 42 pieces. So I'm going to do uh half of each each uh channel with three holes over here since right now this is from the the end of the the uh hole so the first one they already down there so this is the last one over here so this is what i'm gonna do my i'm gonna do it like this i'm gonna make two like straight over here right here But as you can it's very easy and then do the other one right here okay. 
and then another one here just to make sure the water will go out that's it and then you can do it outside too all right now you can do the same thing in the bottom same everything except over here it is uh three inches from the edge right here as you can see it's hanging out right here little bit uh less than a three inch over here in my case i just do it right outside the groove right here but you see there's a seal over here this seal over here that is will aim you to the uh, correct center in this my case in my case i don't have to measure anything i just can aim it right here make sure it's middle of this one straight and then but i forgot my steps too All right, that's ready to go. All right, guys, it's time for dangerous time. This is dangerous, so you must have a uh, safety glasses, earplugs. So I decided to use this or use this one. They're both dangerous, so uh, I decided to use the uh, henso, not the so-so. The way I'm going to do my, I'm going to cut it uh, through this line over here. That way I can aim it real good. The reason I cut it first on the top because uh, it is a lot dangerous here on the top, but the bottom one is a lot easier. So I'm going to turn off my microphone that way I'm not going to blow your ear out. And then make the hole over here it, it'd be nice if you had somebody to hold it for you but you can do it yourself it's not a big deal you can do it from here like i say with this one is much safer just put one over here make this two smaller that way when you 
put dirt on the top, the dirt will not go inside. All right, that's all you do. That's it for the part one video. For the part two, should be up here on this side. And then should be another video somewhere over here. And then subscribe right here, all right? So that's being said, thank you very much for watching this video. And God bless the YouTuber and then the whole world. I love you guys. Bye-bye.